Hey, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. Today, we're go I'm going to be doing a recipe that I think you're really going to like. You're going to want to see this. We're going to be making breakfast sausage out of some elk. And you can do this with any wild game you want. We went up scouting here a month or so ago. He got his elk, and I'll leave a link to the video of where we went up and scouted, and we cooked some bacagna on a rotisserie, if you're interested in watching that. But this is going to be a really good recipe. You're going to want to try it, so let's get after it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to grind up the meat. Now, the meat is partially frozen. You want to keep this meat, all of it, as cold as possible. What I've got here, I've got about three and three quarter pounds of elk meat, and I've got about one and a quarter pounds of some beef trimmings that I trimmed off of a brisket. It's perfect for this. That way you have about a 70-30 fat to meat ratio. Elk meat is extremely lean meat. So you want to add some extra fat. So let's get to grinding this up. I've got the coarse plate in it that we're going to be using the first time. We're going to be grinding this twice. Okay, we got it run through the grinder once. Now this meat is really, really cold. So I'm gonna unscrew this. And I'm gonna clean this out. See, this is a coarse, this is a coarse plate that I'm using on here. Pull this off, get the cutting blade off, and see the meat's basically ground up. And we're going to put it back together. We're going to be using the same plate. We're just going to run it through twice because I like my sausage a little coarser. I don't like it. Okay, and like I say, you can use any type of wild game meat, white tail deer, mule deer, anything you want. Now that I've got it ground up, now we're just going to put in, we're going to mix in our seasoning for this. Now I've already got the seasoning mixed up here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put about half of it in here. And I'll put the uh, seasoning that I mixed up right over here, and I'll put it at the end of the you know toward the end of the video, and I also put it in the description. Put about half in it, and now we're just going to mix it. Mix it up a little bit. You want to, it's nice if you've got one of those mixers, but I don't have one, so I'm going to have to just do this by hand. You just want to sit there and you just want to mix it up best you can. Really good. All right, now that I'm going to add in the rest of the mixture. Let's mix this up a little more. Okay, now I've got this mixed up fairly well. Now I'm gonna take one third of a cup of pure maple syrup. This ain't the 
artificial flavor. This is the real stuff. Okay. I'm just going to put it on there. Give this a good maple flavor. And we're going to mix this in really good. Okay, I've mixed it about five minutes, so I'm going to Turn it on and run it through again. Okay, I got all five pounds ground twice. It's been seasoned. Now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight. Let all of these spices kind of meld together with the meat. And tomorrow I'll be back. We're gonna start stuffing this, making some patties. We're gonna have some good sausage, so I'll see you in the morning. Okay, our sausage is set overnight. Now we're fixing to stuff it. We're using some collagen cases. This is the fresh. This is not the case you wanna use if you're smoking. They're too lightweight, but this works great for like breakfast sausage or bratwurst, anything that's gonna be raw that you're going to cook, that you're not gonna hang up smoke. And if you notice, my nephew is here today. He's one that got us the elk. And I really appreciate it because we got a ton of meat. So we're going to go ahead and get this loaded up. He's going to help me get these all. Let's see. Let's just slide out just like this. Now, whenever you're loading this, you want to make sure you don't get any air pockets in it. As you load it, you're going to press it down real good. Try to get all the air you can out of it. And these collagen cases that we're using, like I say, they're the fresh casings and they're 22 millimeter, perfect size for the breakfast sausage that we're making, that we're stuffing today. Get all of this in there. And we can get started. Let me get this all pressed in there really good. All right. Okay, let's get it back in there. Okay. I'm going to have him slowly start down with it. We're just going to get the sausage up here. All right. There we go. Just slowly keep it going. And you just want to feed this now. What you want to do, hold on just for a second, on these collagen casings, you want to look and if you can't see the ribs in it going around, you've got it too tight. If you can really see the ribs, and I don't know if you can see them here, you can slightly see the ribs in it. But if you can just slightly see the ribs, they're perfect. If they're too much of the rib is showing, it's not stuffed enough. If there's no rib showing, You've got it too much in there, and these are salt. These are regular thin casings. Go ahead. So we're just gonna sit there and just feed them off. So they're coming out perfect too. Just gonna keep feeding them out. We're gonna get all these sausages stuffed and we'll be right back with you okay whenever you're making up your sausage into lengths what you want to do I like mine about four inches so we'll just pinch it right here just like this then we'll move down and we'll pinch it again now on these fresh casings collagen casings 
You only want to twist them about twice, and that's it. Then you move it down, twist it, and we saved a little bit here for pan sausage, because some people like pan sausage. Move these down, and you pinch it off like that, and then you twist it no more than twice because these are really, these casings will literally bust on you if you're not careful. Twist it up. Move it down. I'm gonna go ahead and get through with all of these, then I'll be right back with you. All right, we got all of our links made up. We got our patties made up. Now we're fixing to fry a couple of these up and just give them a taste test here. But one thing I want to warn you, if you're going to vacuum seal these and put them in the freezer, that's what I do. You want to put these in an open, in a bag, not sealed, put them in the freezer and freeze them first before you vacuum seal them. Because if you don't, these casings are soft enough that they'll burst whenever you, and you'll start pulling the meat out of them. So make sure you freeze them before you vacuum seal them. So. Be right back once we get a couple of these fried up and ready to go. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. Well, they smell good. Yeah, they do. I'm gonna take the whole thing. All right. That'll work. Yeah, that's, that's spot on. That'll work. That's some good sausage right there. Man, if you want to make link sausage, right there's a recipe. And I'll add the recipe again here also. It'll be down in the description. And I added it at the beginning too, so. Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everybody that watches my videos. I want to thank all my subscribers. And I want to thank all the first responders, all of our police, firefighters, EMS, all of those that protect us and keep us safe. And I also want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women in the military that's on active duty, that's serving around the world. And I want to send a special thanks out to all of our veterans. And I hope everybody had a beautiful and wonderful Thanksgiving. Until next time, we'll see you then.